Hi, I'm Nikki, the Obsessive Bookseller. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Bartimaeus series by Jonathan Stroud. First one being The Amulet of Samarkand. Now, I binged this series in a little over a month because I was just enjoying it so much I wanted to know what happened next. I didn't want to do my typical wait a few months in between books before continuing on. These were just delightful. They brought me back to when I was a kid. That sense of being caught up completely in another world, the sense of magic and wonder reminded me of early Harry Potter days. What's even more brilliant is that even though these are marketed to middle grade readers, they are completely accessible and appropriate to adult readers. My favorite thing about the series is easily the character Bartimaeus, and what's more, the footnotes included in his chapters. I've been to a lot of writing seminars, and across the board, all of them will tell you, don't use footnotes in your writing, it intimidates people, they don't like them. But I have to say, the footnotes in here completely enhanced the character, it made the whole thing more funny than it would have been otherwise. And I found them absolutely delightful. When I work on my own book, I'm totally using footnotes to help enhance the voice because I thought it was brilliantly done here. I'm stealing it. Now I'm going to talk a little bit about each book. No spoilers, just the overall experience with it. So this first one completely hooked me. And I, I just, from start to finish, I was walking around my house holding the physical copy, trying to do other things while reading it. And it has been years since a book has made me do that, made me feel that addictive quality towards it. I thought a lot of things in here were quite unconventional. Uh, the further we went, the deeper connection I felt with the characters. And the whole thing just had this kind of feel of being a muggle, being introduced to this world of magic for the first time and getting to learn more about it in that case. And the unconventionality of it and overall writing voice were my favorite things about it. I really enjoyed this one. And then I dove in almost immediately to book number two. Of the four books, this one was probably my least favorite because it took the plot point I was least interested in and expanded on it. And it added another POV with a lot of flashbacks and that kind of stopped the pacing a little bit. But once it got going, there was a scene in here that like, when something happened, I felt, I felt the reaction in my own body as if I was in the scene with the characters. And that's the kind of investment in books that I absolutely love. It does not happen very often. And I quite enjoyed my time with it. Then you get to book three, and this one was my favorite of the series. It gave some backstory on a character that I'd been interested in the entire time. I really liked the overall momentum of it, the pacing. I loved the character growth, and I thought it ended with a bang. It's really nice to end a series with a bang. This one also had quite a few more Bartimaeus chapters than the second book. And yeah, everything about it I found delightful, and it was a completely appropriate cap to the end of the series. And so, of course, I had to pick up the prequel. And actually, I was thinking this was going to be a prequel around Bartimaeus, but focused on his relationship with Ptolemy, whom you hear about a lot during the main series, but you don't get a lot of enmeshed backstory. You get just enough as a teaser, but not enough to really satisfy my curiosity. This book is not what I was expecting. I was expecting more of that, like an enmeshed, see their journey together type of thing. But no, this is completely detached from all of that. It's Bartimaeus in his very early days. Throughout the series, he does talk a lot about some of the things he's done throughout history. And this is like one of the instances where you can see from his perspective what happened. And, and this one was a ton of fun. It stands pretty well on its own. The humor in here, it seems like after he wrote the trilogy and got a lot of good feedback for the humor, he felt comfortable amping it up a, get, a bit because, yeah, it was even more prevalent in this one than in the first three books. And I will also say, this one went in a quite unexpected direction, and that sense of discovery I got from reading all four of these books was just awesome. Because I kind of have an idea of what to expect, especially in a middle grade, they all kind of follow a, the sim same similar sort of pattern. And this one broke away from all of that. It's definitely something standing on a pedestal by itself. So as a whole, I mean, for a middle grade series, solid five stars in my top four or five, like some of the best middle grade books I've ever read. 
compared to my adult science fiction fantasy stuff that I've read, it is still a solid four stars. So if you're an adult science fiction fantasy reader, I'd like strongly consider giving these a try if you want that sense of nostalgia and feelings of like having fun reading it like a kid again. The thing that annoys me the most is that I hung on to these books for 15, 20 years before reading them. And I can think of several instances when I was a bookseller trying to recommend books in that section. And this would have been the perfect recommend for those customers, but I hadn't read it yet. So I couldn't say anything about it. So just think of how many people didn't get to read this book because I stalled for so long on reading it. I'm kicking myself now because it's gonna be one of my favorite recommends going forward. Okay, let's talk about other books you might like. And I know I made the comparison to Harry Potter already, but it really did resonate with me, that strong sense of being in the muggle world in London, much like the beginnings of most of the Harry Potter novels. And it's not like I think, oh yeah, you know, have you tried Harry Potter yet? Because if you've wanted to read it, chances are you already have. But I bring it up as a comparison You've probably read Harry Potter, you might also enjoy the Bartimaeus series. And to that end, I read this year House and the Cerulean Sea and had the same reaction to it. It's another one that did a really good job evoking that sense of wonder and nostalgia. And this one's an adult fantasy novel. And if, like me, you enjoyed that one but wish the plot had gotten going just a little bit quicker and there was a little more, like, engagement in the story from the very beginning. Bartimaeus had that in spades. Right from the first page, I was interested. Aside from Harry Potter, my all-time favorite middle grade series is Fablehaven by Brandon Mole. This is another author who does not dumb down his writing to suit his audience. And in fact, his world building and creation is so much fun that I think had he plunked older characters in, he could have easily marketed this one to either teens or even adults. I love this series. As it grows, there's more and more dynamics. There's a ton of fun things in it that really spark my interest. And yeah, love this series. Can't recommend it highly enough. Love and Thumps and the Gateway to Foo by Obert Skye. If your favorite part about Bartimaeus was the cheeky aspect, then this one has a little bit of that as well. Also, kind of similar atmosphere, creature creation, that kind of thing. This one doesn't hold up quite as well as Bartimaeus as far as reading it as an adult, but it's still a fun adventure. Deadly Education by Naomi Novik. This one's kind of a stretch to recommend, but what Bartimaeus did so well is this atmospheric presentation where you really felt enmeshed in the world and an unconventional voice in writing. And this book has both of those things. This takes place in a magic school and the attention to detail with the magic I found kind of a similar between both series. So yeah, uh, as an adult recommend, and this one could possibly be on the cusp between YA and adult depending on your tastes in reading, I think it's a good comparison. So there you have my review. I'd like to take a minute to thank my patrons. Thank you so much for supporting my content. I really appreciate it. And thanks to everybody for watching. I hope to catch you next time. Bye.